close to that. And a lot of these places actually ended last year above average in terms of rainfall as well. So it's just this soggy waterlogged ground that we've got. Little Rock here about three inches above average. Now, if we could just take all of this abundance of rain and shift it a little bit farther west, that'd be wonderful for portions of Texas that are in drought, even southern Louisiana. But that's not what we're getting. We're getting rain over many of the same places that just don't need any more. You can see that bullseye there stretching from uh, portions of Alabama up into Georgia. Even the Carolinas getting in on this two to three inches. But I guarantee there will be some lo locally higher amounts and that could definitely lead to some flash flooding issues. So today through tomorrow morning, our biggest risk for flash floodings from Wichita Falls, Texas up into the Ozarks there. Tulsa, you're included as well. Tomorrow into Tuesday morning, we see that shifting eastward with the severe weather threat. Cities like Shreveport, you could be dealing with flash flooding tomorrow, but then also that risk for the severe storms that we have to contend with. Molly. Well, thanks, Felicia. We can recharge is just getting started.